Meanwhile, dozens attending a pro-Israel rally in downtown Raleigh this evening. It's one of several rallies that have popped up in the Triangle over the last few days. WRO's Carly Haynes was there tonight. She joins us live. Carly, people have some very deep-rooted feelings about this conflict. They sure do. Morgan Street is empty right now, but just a few hours ago, more than 100 people lined this sidewalk to show support for Israel. But even at this demonstration, there was mixed feeling about the conflict overseas. Chants and rally cries at the state capitol grounds in downtown Raleigh as people from across the triangle came out to stand with Israel. I have a lot of family and friends in Israel. Israeli flags flying high six days after the Hamas militant group attacked Israel. My reaction was shock and horror, and then it turned into anger and anguish. One demonstrator showed support for both the citizens of Israel and Palestine. A tendency to ignore the fact that many um, uh, American Jews uh, are very opposed to the policies of the Netanyahu government. Several Palestinians we spoke with this week said it's important to remember their suffering as well. It's me and my family. Jihad Shawa is a Palestinian American who lives in Raleigh. He grew up in Gaza and still has family there. Gaza is a beautiful lovely place. He's not for or against Hamas, but believes Palestinians have been under attack by the Israeli government for decades. There is no attack is a good thing. There is an act and, you know, action and reaction. Shawa wants the violent okay. kidnapping and murder to end in both communities and wants two states to live in harmony side by side. We should love each other because we do have the continuity between the Jewish and the Palestinians and we can we can we can make fruits on the desert. Raleigh police officers were at the rally here today surrounding it just in case things escalated. We didn't see any evidence of violence nor did we see any counter protesters. Back to you. Make fruit in the desert. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Thank you, Carly.